Hi, this is Aaron Yates. This is a tutorial to talk about how to download images from our website. Most likely you've received a link to a gallery that you've purchased and you want to download the images to your computer to use them for uh, other reasons. Even if you haven't received the link, if you visit our website gallery.curvillephoto.com you can go through here and find the most recent images uh, up top where it says most recent galleries. You can also scroll down and go into categories. So if you're looking for a specific gallery from the past, uh, you know you can find it within the different categories. You can also search for images. If you search up here uh, with the name of your event or the name of the property uh, or even in some cases specific tags for real estate agencies or marketing companies you can find some images by using the search uh, but we're going to assume that you've received a gallery uh, usually uh, you'll receive a gallery with a link uh, an e you'll receive an email with a link to a specific gallery we're going to use this one as an example today these are some ranch photos so you'll click the link in the email and you'll be brought to a page like this uh, this page displays thumbnails on the left, multiple pages. It also displays a preview image here on the right, and it tells you how many images are in the gallery total. So if you want to save an image, there's a few different ways to do it. Uh, if you want to do it one, one at a time, or you want a specific photo at a specific size, the best way to do that is to find the photo in the gallery that you want and make it show up in the preview pane here, and then actually just click on that image in the preview pane you'll be brought with a full screen image uh, of the photo you selected. Now from here you can click this little button and get various different sizes. Small is obviously very small, might be good for use on the web. Uh, medium meets the criteria for almost all MLS systems if you're downloading them for MLS usage. Uh, large is a little bit bigger. Most MLS systems still accept this size too, but it probably doesn't uh, accept anything bigger. Uh, but for whatever reasons you can also get all these other sizes all the way up to original. Original is going to be the biggest resolution that's available online so if you're using it for print work or for making a brochure or anything like that that you're going to be printing out it's recommended to get the original size. Uh, fill is just the biggest size that it can show to fill your screen. Uh, so to save these images let's say we want to get a large image uh, we'll select large and then we just right click here on the image and, and hit save image as. Every browser is going to display this a little bit differently and every computer is going to display it a little differently depending on what extensions you have installed and things like that. In this case I'm using Chrome and the title is save image as. So if we click that we'll be brought to a, a folder and I, I've created a folder on my desktop called download and I can put the image in there. I can rename it at this point. Uh, so sometimes the file names are real long and unwieldy so you may want to name it something different. Uh, but whatever you decide to name it you can just hit save and that's going to save that image to your computer. In Chrome it displays this status bar down here to show you what's been downloaded. We can hit X there. Uh, another fast way to download an image in high resolution once you have the image selected over here in the preview button you can hit this little down button here that's a download icon that's going to download the full size image for you uh, and it's going to be a little bit bigger file size so it may take a little bit longer depending on your connection speed the other thing that's new if you want to download all the images in the gallery in a single zip file uh, what you can do you'll see these buttons have started to appear up here on galleries. If you hit download all it's going to ask for an email address and it takes a little bit, a few minutes and it's going to create a zip file and it will send that zip file to your email address and you can click a link in there to download it. Uh, if you're not sure what zip files are uh, I would Google that because it's a real handy way to download a lot of images very quickly and save them all to your computer. But zip files will be covered in a separate tutorial. That's all there is to it for downloading images. If you don't see this button here or if you right click and it says that image downloads are not allowed, that's a gallery that does not uh, have those permissions. And if you think that you uh, do have the ability to download the images, if you've purchased a license that includes the digital files uh, and you can't do it from this gallery, please email me aaron 
at kervillephoto.com. You can also contact us by visiting our website. So if we go to kervillephoto.com and at the top right hit contact, uh, it has our office number, my email address again, it has our physical address here, and then there's even a box down here at the bottom uh, to send us a quick email for more information. Thank you for watching.